Hey everyone, I'm so excited that you decided to take the journey and take the challenge really and do the Bible in 90 days. Um, I know that God is going to do something awesome in that time. I did it last summer and it was just so cool just to see the Bible in its entirety in such a short period of time that made so many things, more things make sense and connect dots easier. Those passages I used to just skip over <laughs> actually made sense now um, because I got to read it in, in its real context. So um, I'm excited for you to get started, but since we're less than two weeks away, I wanted to give you um, a visual of some of the resources that I had mentioned in my pinned post. So as I mentioned, I went through it last summer, and whenever I did it last summer, I just used um, the reading guide, um, which is just a printout that I posted on the website, or posted on, the, on Facebook, the link to that. So I just used this and just went through day by day. Um, but I did get a different Bible. I have normally use like a big study Bible, but I didn't want to get bogged down and, and tempted to read all the um, the footnotes and just what this word means. I would do that, and we don't have time for that. We just have to read, read, read. <laughs> so I got a different Bible, um, and this one was great. Um, this one has um, room to mark in the margins. Um, and so what I did, since I didn't have time to study as I was reading, um, I just went through and just wrote... Um, like a note a quick note on the side of the page and just knew that I would come back So after I finished the summer, I just kind of went back through and looked at some of my notes um, And that's what I kind of studied through the next year um, Whenever my quiet times is just kind of going through those notes and digging deeper into things that were interesting But I didn't have time I had to get through that uh, It's a lot to get through in every day So I definitely recommend getting um, a, a Bible like that that kind of takes out all the other stuff and just focuses here this was what the um, ESV single column journaling Bible. So that might be helpful to you. Um, the other re resource that I had recommended was there is a study called B90, which is um, a company that has put together resources just specifically for this. Um, and that they give you um, a specific Bible and a participant's guide. You can get them both for $19.99 on their site. Um, so the Bible itself is just a Bible. That's really what it is, except for the only difference is that they stop you um, and they show you the, the days. They just break down the specific days for you. But other than that, it's just a Bible. And so right here at the top, it'll say end day 13, start day 14. Um, so it just breaks it up for you and makes it easier. And it also takes out a lot of the footnotes and all that as well. So um, this is great um, as, as a great resource as well. Uh, I want to spend most of my time talking about the participant's guide. Um, the participant's guide comes with this. Um, you can buy it by itself. It's $8.99 by itself. Um, and it really goes through and recaps every week. Um, so it's really awesome, especially if you're going to do this as a small group. Um, while doing it online is awesome, it's really good to find either your a small group that you're already in and do it together or connect with some other people that are local around you um, and just get together to discuss what you talked about that week or what you read that week. Um, since you don't have a lot of time to, like I said, study it as you go, it's good to just kind of take a deep breath together and go, okay, wait a minute, what do we study and how does that relate to the story of God as a whole? Um, so each in the in the participants guide, you're going to find different sessions and each session is following the previous week's reading. Um, and so it'll tell you um, what you just read and then what's coming up for the next week, give you some warm-up questions. Um, a lot of the warm-up questions at the beginning are about your process through reading the Bible in 90 days. So like um, some, like if you're struggling with your reading, are there activities you can replace with the Bible reading other than reading, uh, with Bi replace with Bible reading rather than reading in addition to your current activities? What can you eliminate? Things like that that just kind of have you reflect on what are you struggling with, um, where are you spending your time, and how you can make some more time. Um, then you get into the digging in questions that say, like for instance, it says refer to Leviticus and fill in five main sacrifices below. So as we read through Leviticus, it, you're going to get a ton of information. And so it just lets you recap because these are going to be important when we go into the New Testament and see those um, being um, and how Christ plays into those and, and is the fulfillment of those. So it's important to remember those types of things. And then it has an applying it section. Um, the applying it section uh, just really tells you, you know, really how are you going to apply it to your life. Um, uh, I love this. Like we see in Deuteronomy that Moses dies after viewing the promised land that he never gets to enter it. And after all the hardship he went through, does this seem a little unfair? And from God's perspective, might it be considered just? And that's really hard because that was really hard for me. Like really? After all of that, he doesn't get to go in? <laughs> So really just seeing, you know, answering honest questions and um, really seeing like how you view God as just or not. 
And then I want to do one last one, um, and then we'll wrap it up. But um, the I just kind of skipped through. This is down in session nine. This is down whenever you're doing the profits. Um, so it gives you the same warm-up questions and the digging in. But what I love is that each section um, gives you um, what it's like some reading tips for the next section you're coming into. So this one with it says, here are some of the major hurdles we encounter when reading the books of the prophets. Knowing that when the prophet's writing, to whom they're writing, the circumstances they're writing to with their audience. And so this chart um, is putting the prophets in their place. And this should help you with those hurdles described. And so then it just like gives you these charts of all the prophets and when they wrote and what's their theme and who the audience was that they were talking to. Um, because it can get really confusing, especially as we're going so quick. And while we do want you to finish the reading, we also want us to understand what we're reading. So this participant's guide really helps just kind of almost like a cliff notes in breaking down each section and just making sure, okay, I got the highlights of that week. Let's move on to the next week um, and making sure that you really retain that information. And at the end of the, um, the notes, it gives you a little um, a short overview of what the books that are coming up for the next week are. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend the participant's guide. It's $8.99. It's seriously really cheap. Um, get this. And this way, even if you get behind, you can still stay on top of it, um, especially if you're doing it as a group and you want to keep up with the group but have gotten behind, you can do some of the participants' guide and that will really make the word come to life even more. I am super stoked to have you guys join um, me and us on this journey and hope that please bring along anybody else and add them to the group and um, I hope it's an encouragement and I'm 